Hey there guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of my Chelsea career mode. We are back today and we've got a lot of clearing up to do. Now if you guys haven't seen my big update video, then um, just go ahead and check my channel's latest video uploaded. Now since then I've had a big break. Now when I released that big update video I thought that I'd actually be able to record. However, I've had a few issues with the journey and I'll, I'll firstly follow that up in another video. But we've got a lot of following up to do and I hate when this happens on my channel, but we've got a lot to clear up basically. And that's what these the next episode of the Chelsea Crimson are indeed going to be about, and then episode 20 will be completely normal again. But yeah, let's head on to FIFA now because we've actually got quite a lot to deal with. Now, there have been some big, big issues with this series so far this year, and um, yeah, you basically missed a lot. Now, I let you guys off here the 2nd of July, it was the first week in the window, and in today's video, I'm going to get through absolutely everything up until. Um, this, these two games here, the Manchester United and the Swansea ones, I'll reveal them to you guys in episode number 19. So yeah, we progress with the window a little bit. I'm just going to show you the games first, a little bit by bit, and I'll try and basically get through everything that you guys have missed, so that we can just forget about what's happened, because what's happened is, all my footage was on my other laptop, I was exporting a massive couple of episodes of the Chelsea Crow, but not the biggest two episodes, and my laptop broke halfway through. So that footage is all now gone. So we need to start from scratch again. And I didn't mean to do that. So yeah, let's get on. We start the pre-season here. A lot of players had not either were either on our way at the World Cup or were uh, or were uh, also just like or had been at the World Cup. So I decided to play none of them. We played a basically a really really young lineup. But I'll actually show you our squad later on. But I've got so much to get through. I only forgot on the first thing, and that was the World Cup. I left you guys. But we've just got through the group of the World Cup. In the round of 16, I believe, I believe we played, was it Colombia? We won 1-0 Morata in the 70th minute. In the quarterfinals, we played, oh, I can't remember, we played someone and I believe we won 1-0 again. I think it might have even been Brazil. We beat them by one goal to nil again through Morata. We then played someone else in the semis. And I'm going to be honest, I can't remember them. I think that was another 1-0 though. And then the final, it was indeed a 3-1 win against Germany. Morata got most of the goals. Oh, in the semis, it was Belgium. A 2-1 win there. We scored some beautiful goals in the World Cup too, by the way. And by the way, we beat Germany 3-1 in the finals. I remember Ramos scored from the spot. Morata got on the score sheet. I think Iskava got on the score sheet. But throughout, Morata was kind of the, the star for us. And I've looked back here and it just, it just won't take me to anything. Which is obviously a real shame. It goes straight back to September 2019. A bit of a bugger, but we started pre-season here. We beat um, Uara Reds by four goals to nil. We beat Al Hilal by two goals to nil. And we beat Atletico Madrid by one goal to nil. No goals conceded so far. And then we played Juventus in the semis. We beat them 2 0. And we beat PSG 2 1. We should have won that game by a lot more. But the likes of Tammy Abraham were playing. All the guys that have come out from loan. Also, a few guys that basically didn't go to the World Cup, like Killian Hazard. When, and then we also played this Community Shield match, which we won 2 0. Now, a few different players played and scored in that. So I'm pretty need to start thinking, right, what do I need to show you next? Right, so I'm training there. Killian Hazard and Loftus Cheek are going to be the ones training this year. I think what I'll do first is show you guys a few of the guys that have probably already gone this year. I think some guys have already gone. Uh, David Luiz, I just didn't think that was a good enough offer from Juventus. Well, I think I offered them 30 minutes and they rejected it or something stupid like that. But these are the guys we're actually going to be trying to get rid of this year. We're getting rid of a lot of the old players and also just a lot of the players I don't use. I'm also going to try and get rid of all of my youngsters, you know, Collins, Baker, Kelly. I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of players. I also do, however, think that I'm going to be selling a lot of players. I'm going to be showing you guys my squad hub actually right now and showing us how the squad is looking so far because we've actually made two absolutely huge signings, which I cannot wait for you guys to see. So I further ado, let's get into it. We've got Pickford, Caballero, who we're selling in Courtois. Then I probably am going to, be, going to be getting a goalkeeper off the youth academy just to be my third goalkeeper in case something goes wrong. Because Caballero is a little too old. If he doesn't go, it won't be an issue. He'll just sit on the reserves. He won't get any game time. He'll just provide backup in case one of them gets injured. He'll come in. Victor Moses and Zappa Costa are going to be our right wing backs for the season. Although I think he's getting in another right wing back. Then we can then we can basically use the likes of Zappa Costa, so Zappa Costa and also Moses, two very very versatile players on different wings basically and in different positions and we can just use um, a new right back that comes in. And this man, Dujon Sterling, will be coming up in January. I'm looking forward to using him. We've got Christensen, um, Asper de Quetta, Zuma, not David Luiz. Manalas is the first signing, Rudiger, and that's it. So we probably need to bring in another centre-back and there's also one that I'm looking to bring in from the youth academy which I think is going to be absolutely sick. 
Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. But honestly, I think using the Youth Academy to our strengths is going to be a real big part of this series. But yeah, there is Mananas. He was brought in for 55 mil. I think that's going to be a great signing for us. He's already played a couple of games. I'll show you the stats and everything in a minute. Alonso and Sandro are getting our wing, wing, left wing backs this season. We've got Kante and Bakayoko in midfield. We've also brought like Musonda, but he's still going to be with us. Boga's been brought up from low. He's going to be kept. Going to be selling Scott, loaning Collins, keeping Drinkwater, keeping Baker, keeping Pasalic, keeping Fabregas, keeping Van Hinkle, loaning Baker, keeping Kennedy as another left wing back option, left wing striker. He can play every every really right mid, right wing back. Kenny's going to be loaned. Lots of cheeks, another very versatile player who we just have to be playing this season. Casey Palmer will be staying with us. Ross Bard, he's going to have a huge role this season. I was really surprised by just how much he went up last season, so I'm really going to be using him to full effect this season. George Bekekwin, when he comes back from loan in January, will be used too. Killian Hazard picked up a big injury, but he's going to be back in two days now anyway, so that's not an issue. He's a little bit unhappy though at the moment, as we'll see with this game time. I was going to be selling Pedro. I've decided to keep hold of Willian for now. I've just been really impressed with him. Um, I think he's a really good asset for our side, basically, so I'm going to be keeping him. Morata, for sure, we're going to be keeping him the star of the World Cup. He's insane. Tammy Abraham, we're going to be keeping him. Batshuayi, of course, we're going to be keeping him. Now we've got three striker options. And then Aiden Hazard, Kenyon Hazard, and Lorenzo Insignia is another signing I've made. I have spent, spent over £110 million bringing in a load of good talent to the club. And Insigne and also Mananas are those talents that I've brought in so far. And honestly, they look insane to me. I was still thinking of changing his cut number to 11 when Pedro goes. I think that is something that will be done. But so far, I've played pre-season. We've played the Community Shield. And we've also played two games against United. But uh, what I want to show you guys is some of the players that haven't actually played so far this season who will be playing. So Drinkwater, I haven't played yet. I don't really know why. Uh, William, I haven't played yet. I just wasn't sure I was setting him. And everyone else has played. So those are the two I need to start getting into my side. But these are the guys that have actually played a lot of the time. Um, Zappa Costa, Rudiger, Bakayoko, Christensen, Fabregas, Alonso, Kian Hazard, Abraham, Palmer, Loftus, Cheek, Kennedy, Baker, Pasalic, Van Hinkle, Boga, Pickford, Moses, Zuma, and those were all the guys, not Insigne, from Insigne upwards, or from Zuma upwards rather, all these guys were the guys I took to pre-season, these guys were the guys that absolutely destroyed the likes of like PSG and stuff, I was really impressed with using my youngsters, honestly guys, I think they're going to be really useful for us this season, that's going to give us a huge basis of squad to build on. Um, I think which is just absolutely superb. Now in terms of who's been scoring, Tammy Abraham got five goals and one assist in his five preseason games. He was superb for us. Lorenzo Insigne scored um, a couple of times in the Premier League, but I don't want to spoil too much of that, but it doesn't really matter. Insigne has had a really good start for us, basically. Look at that. Two clean sheets, two assists, and three goals in three games, which is superb. Morata set the ground running once more, as we would expect. Alexandro seems to not really be able to stop scoring at the moment, if I do say so myself. Um, Victor Moses has got on the score sheet. Batshuayi has Antonio Rudiger, Barkley, Palmer, lost his cheek. Bakayoko, Fabregas. Those were all the guys that ended up scoring over pre-season. Um, Insigne, Hazard, Moses, Apocosta, um, Alexandro all have been getting loads and loads of assists, which is obviously fantastic. And in terms of clean sheets, I believe... I see how many Pickford made over pre-season. He made four clean sheets. And I would actually like to see just how many Thibaut Courtois has indeed ended up keeping this season, this, this season. He's kept two, which is obviously superb. Um, <coughs> In terms of people going down Caballero, that is exactly why we're going to be selling him, really. Collins has already been improving massively. He's absolutely huge. He's going to be so good for us in the field. Then we've got like, some Keen Hazard going up. You know, we've got all of these guys immediately going up this season, which is obviously really, really good to see. But I think I've got through most of what I wanted to show you guys. The national squad is looking good. I've done a little bit of rearranging on that. But that is nothing too important. I'll show you guys that another date. And yeah, we've brought in some players. We've sold some players. You guys have seen who's on the list. This is our next game that I'll be playing in episode 20, but I've still got to review episode, um, what is it, episode bloody well, 19, and that is where I'll be revealing the Manchester United result and the Swansea result, and also just discussing a few other things, I suppose, but, I mean, I've gone over pre-season, I've gone over the squad, how it's looking at the moment, <coughs> which is obviously superb, I've showed you the guys who we're bringing in, I'll also show you guys the other guys we're looking to bring in, um, it's between Mooney and Ferenczi for me, the, but that release course for Ferenczi doesn't need it very good, I think I might be paying that. And yeah, I think that's going to be superb. I think we're bringing Nathan Ake back. Conte didn't really want to send him in real life, and honestly, I didn't. I think we should be bringing him back. Nathaniel Chaloba, again, I don't think he should have been sold. He should be coming back in. Richarlison and Mason Mount, and also Isaiah Brown, could all be other options that Chelsea have actually got loaned out in real life, or Mason Mount anyway, but they're just fully transferred on the game, because also it's not in our space. So yeah, those are all players I'd be looking to bring back in.
But yeah, guys, I think I've previewed basically most of the stuff I wanted to get through. So if you actually haven't ended up enjoying this video, then please do smash a like on it. It would mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and record episode 19 now. So if there's anything I missed in episode 18 previewing it, I'll preview that the World Cup, preseason signings, departures, etc, etc. I think I've previewed everything, but if I haven't, then I will preview it or get over it, really. Um, cover it in episode 19. So yeah, for now, drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. The uploads are going to come thick and fast in the next couple of days, so make sure you stay tuned. But for now, peace out.